September 15, 2014, I broke my match. I woke up 22 days later, a prisoner in my own body. I couldn't feed myself. I couldn't dress myself. I couldn't use the bathroom by myself. Everything that I was seemed shattered like the fragments of my broken spine. After I spent three months in inpatient rehabilitation center, I was sent home to a reality that I no longer fit into. I couldn't get up the stairs into my house. I couldn't fit into my shower. My bathroom was inaccessible. The bedroom door was too small for me to fit through. Not only was my body in prison, but my home had become one as well. And all I wanted to do was break free, grab some Ben and Jerry's out of the freezer, and claim back my life. I started out small. I went to support groups, and those support groups led me to try adaptive sports. Adaptive sports later led me to volunteering. And that volunteer work brought me to the Center for Independent Living. The volunteer work made life seem like life was worth living again. None of, none of that would have been possible if I hadn't been able to leave my home. For 40 years, the Center for Independent Living has been assisting individuals with disabilities live independent lives. Not only have we built ramps or modified bathrooms, but we provided wheelchairs, walkers, and shower chairs to people who didn't have them. Last year alone, we served over 1,500 people throughout seven counties in Central Florida. But even though we served 1,500 people, there's still so many people that need our help. People that need access to live independent and healthy, happy lives. Now, I can't tell you my entire story in two minutes and 30 seconds, but remember this, nothing in life is promised, and your reality can change in a second, just like mine did. And although the doctors may have been the ones that saved my life, it's because of CIL I'm able to live it. Thank you.